What's up, Bobby and Brains? Uh, another episode of uh, Bromosexuals. Kind of enjoying mm -hmm. these. Kind of, they're, they're almost like a little bit of a therapy in many ways. For both of us. Yeah. And hopefully for everyone else out there that does listen to them. But yeah. This week I thought we'd do something a little different. Uh, we've been talking through the week about some shit that, like a, like a, like a pile up of stuff to chat about, and we haven't really. Uh, you've been away, so mm. um, thought we'd uh, have our other bromosexual, Jamie, Jamie behind the man. camera. Uh, shout out some uh, some of the some of the topics some uh, in question form so we can kind of address it. How was with the first one, Jamie? What the fuck are dreams? And that's because you were saying about this crazy dream you had. Are we I mean, talking who, about are we talking about actual like dreams that we, we dream about or dreams that we have to try to achieve something? Or are we talking about my crazy I'm dream saying, I had the other day? Yeah, when I was more more from like your crazy dream of the day. I mean, like how crazy are we talking? Was it like you were a Russian spy? I was basically, it was um, an address, the biggest espionage film, so kind of uh, Jason Bourne style, being chased by Vladimir Putin and his, his, his crew. It was pretty intense though, but... That sounds pretty cool, what's wrong with that? I don't know, it had to be it was a crazy dream, because there's nowhere near that I can be a spy number one. I mean, I probably could be a spy. But number two... <laughs> You're like, there's no way I could be a spy, I probably could be a spy. Maybe I'm a spy. Um, I've had. But yeah, I, I, I think my question around that was, uh, what triggers that? Like, what actually gives you, like, well, obviously we all got a whole bunch of crap on our mind and we think about shit. But why did, why did, why did thoughts? Like, I, I could have dreamt about sex. I don't know anything else, but I dreamt about being chased by Russian spies. Hmm. I get the chasing part. I get the. Away, I, you know yeah. what I wonder? I wonder how, how much films are really influencing... If you think about it, their moving pictures, their narratives, the mm. stories, how much are they really influencing, like, all the stories that have been made that are captured on film that people well, are telling? They basically think it's just, a, it's just a continuous cycle, that obviously movies and all... Basically everything in society comes around an idea. Yeah. And that idea gets portrayed in some form of art. Yeah. But then we continuously watch these ideas. Because if you think about it, think about every single style of musical film or anything. It's it, it, it's very boxed in. Yeah. Like well, you get your you get your action films, you get all that, and they kind of stick to the same pattern. So mm. if we kind of continuously watching this, is this the cycle of us continuously just being fed what we think? Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, you know what's really strange. Like I mean, dreams have always been contentious for me, but like I would say that probably ninety percent of all. I would say was the good ideas, right? Mm. But that's conscious stuff, right? Mm. But the ideas <coughs> that I get most of the time from music, sometimes I'll wake up with a, with a, a thing in my head. But who's to say? So I might be thinking like, oh, this is me that thought this, I'm coming up with an original thing. And I guess the process of making the idea work. I think that's the point about it. But like, I could have got that from somewhere else. Exactly, that's the thing about the originality. It doesn't, I don't think any of us are original. Yeah, that's because what I'm saying. Because we, we, we've been in such a, I think society has been going for so long, we've been in such a circle of, you think you come up with something that is a good idea, it's probably a great idea, but it's just influenced, and you it's think just about a copy of what other ideas that are out there. And you think about how many people take their dreams like so serious, as in like, you oh, know, looking for answers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. For, my, for this specific dream, I was just... I was just you weren't taking this serious, <laughs> you woke up, you were just like, I'm so stoked that I'm not um, a cross-dressing Russian spy. Basically, uh, yeah. <laughs> Wearing I'm just making up what the dream was though. Wearing pink shorts. <laughs> no, guess what you're going to dream about tonight? You're going to be that cross dressed spy. But, Maybe I am that cross dressed spy. In, I mean. my, in my, when I was eight, nine years old, I had a, like a lot of kind of weird shit going on, and the dreams I was having was of this night, night terror, this kind of mm. demon that a lot of people see in their dreams, a lot of same people see in their dreams. But if you think about, um, and, and apparently this thing goes back. I mean, it's been drawn in books oh, way this, this, before the, this, movies. The screen mask thing. Yeah, the kind. screen mask, Edward yeah. Munster. Um, but so maybe that's, I don't know what that is, but I also do remember seeing Nightmare on Elm Street around that time for the first time. Young men seeing Nightmare on Elm Street. Mm. Jesus, you know, like that's pretty heavy that's on you. Shit, but the man. thing is, he actually wrote that the movie. Input, but yeah, because he had night terrors. And so Freddy Krueger was supposed to be the demon in, that we all see. So he said, no, that that was not influenced from his night terrors. So you're trying to, mm. so a lot of people actually blamed him for writing uh, and, and giving people night terrors. It's like, no, he was basing it on his night terrors as a kid. I think it's very, uh, crazy. A very sim simple minded thing to do is blame 
someone for creating something on yeah like you're gonna you like a contemporary I mean? director you know like yeah. you think about all the art in the world that's come before why didn't anyone go and find the family of Edvard Munster whatever his name is and say like I want to have a word <laughs> <laughs> One. One little <laughs> That's, I love how we've taken that question from, you know, what are dreams to... Uh, it's always going to come back to that. going to come to, like, another... That. We just created another question of, like, are, are there... Is there originality? But that's the thing is, everything... Think about... And this is going to get even deeper. It's life. It's just questions within questions. Yeah, it's almost like a multiverse of questions. Basically, yeah. You're just like spiraling down. I think uh, that's I got a lot that, to do that, with that, how little that, we that's, know, though. That's not an original idea, either, is it? No, that's totally <laughs> not. Like, I've seen millions of docs on that. <laughs> I've, I've rabbit holed down so many docs about that that I don't even know what I think anymore. Yeah, it's kind of, kind of come back to that term. I've, I've actually heard that rabbit hole term a lot. Yeah, you got to be con- you got to be conscious. And this is all about co- where intent and con- context comes into play because rabbit holing um, when you're talking about porn can be something very different. Don't want to get into that right now. <laughs> <I think. laughs> What's the uh, next question you got there, Jamie? Uh, why do girls go for dicks and oh. the good dudes finish last? Ah, now you see, I've, I, I better think about this actually. Good dudes do not finish last. I've been thinking about this for a long time. <laughs> good dudes don't finish last. Right. Um, well, what happens with good dudes? is they just think they fall in love too quickly and they think that those girls are the right for them but they're just weaving through the bullshit yeah. as much as w- women can complain about how many dickhead men there are out there it's the total it's the the, the, the total same thing about how many asshole women there are out there I think that, uh, I think there might be more but I do get what you're saying you can get you can get um, you, you can get psychopath psychopathy doesn't care what gender you are you know like there's that's my point I don't think they should you can get be, crazies they shouldn't be they, they shouldn't be like a um, like a label put on part of you know men are assholes women are assholes just humans are just assholes yeah I think everyone's got the, the potential to be a dick obviously there is that's a good point actually everyone does have a big potential to I be think a um, th- I think obviously because there's been way more oppression on women there's been way more men uh, they were coming out of the idea no we're coming out of the the, the days and age of, of women being treated, you know, because it's not, not that long that they've been able to vote, and you know they have been more oppressed than, than men set, certainly mm. have. Very unfortunate. Isn't it? Yeah, I think it's, it's like one of the co- co- things I seen the other day, um, which is a slightly different topic, but one of the things I seen the other day about toxic masculinity and stuff, and and I, and, and you know how much I hate the whole all men, because I because mm. I think we're good guys, and I think when I think it's unfortunate if if people if women because most of the time I kind of forced to but it's unfortunate if they paint us all with one brush because of relationships they've had mm. but that's also the same thing that dudes do when they say oh good guys finish last oh, of course they do, yeah. they're you painting could... all women with the same brush of the women that they've hurt, been hurt by yeah so they think oh you know i'm trying to be a nice guy but then i i'm, I'm going up to a good girl and i'm all hello hi you know and they're all kind of timid but it's a case of like you don't have to play you don't have to be like uh, you know, they're not, they're not, they're not playing, but they might just be soft. But then that means you've got to find someone who's like you. You've got oh, yeah, to find a woman that, that, that who's was, like that, you. That was my, my exact point about going through, kind of wading your way through until you find someone. But then again, what what does that mean? Why, why, why are we as a society so attached to the idea of coupling up with someone to create this happy life? Why aren't we... And yeah, I understand, you know, that... Storytelling, creates, bro. Uh, that creates, you know, it's procreation and how, you know, um, the population increases and, and so on and so forth. But well, I think I people think want to be happy, but they, I think it's... Um, but people I need to be ha- happy within themselves first, I think. And that, that's, that's my point. Of course, the, yeah. In fact, a lot of people jump into relationships because they, they're they looking for the happiness in someone else. But you know how... And that's ha- both man and woman. Here, how, so you've got a simple thing, right? You think, okay, simple math equation, right? You know, like good person looking for another good person, right? Mm. That sounds like the most simple thing in the world. Yeah. Uh, absolutely wrong because mm-hmm. your idea of, okay, I'm a good person. I, I, I'm a total good person. Well, also, what is a good person? Well, also, I've got child trauma or I've seen my parents argue mm-hmm. when they were young and I don't want, now I maybe have issues that grow from that. Or I've um, been beaten up at school, so now I'm, I, I don't like any men standing too close to me. I don't like certain small areas. I, I when I'm near situations where there's going to be a fight, I'll hit first. There's, so there's all these things that actually push me further 
to the lane of not a good person in the general consensus of what a good person is. Mm. And then I might be with, I might see a girl, and that's all like I'm just, you know, um, kind of hypothesizing. Yeah, but mm. you, then I might meet a girl who's, who I think is a good person, like uh, all the right qualities that you would think. And of course, in the first time that you're with them, you might think oh, they're a great person. And then you piss that person off or you don't fit into what exactly they want from the trauma they've had in their life or the experiences they've had. Say you joke the wrong way and you don't quite understand why that joke hurts them in their past, they didn't get offended by it. And now you're two evil people confronting each other because yeah. you're just not right for each other. But that, that, so that, you that, both that, say that, that you're, that's, you're bad people. That's, what, that's my whole point in that. Like, obviously, when you, you, you this is such a human trait that is, I think, such a backward trait is the fact that when you meet someone and you get involved in that relationship, you always, everyone says, you're always portraying the best version of yourself, you're being so well behaved. Now, <laughs> what, 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 what's, what, what's the point to that? Yeah, because it's because it's countdown to the point where you're like, oh, I don't want to be, be behaved anymore. Exactly, yeah. yeah. And it's kind of the fact that <clears throat> if you go into, if you go into any relationship, when you, it's like, but it's not just relationships, it's business relationship, it's friendship, it's every form of relationship. We're not just talking about like relationships, you know, like sexual relationships. Or yeah, like we're talking about general all sorts relationships. Of, yeah, general yeah. relationships is the fact of, you know, not nice people hang around with not nice people because they got something in common. Why good people hang around with good people because they got they, they, they got something in common. So why not just go out there, be who you are, and then yeah. you'll fall within the category of, of of what you're portraying. I think the lane of good and bad is, is such a weird one, you know, because like who decides, you know, because like all right, yeah, so good point. Like what is being a bad yeah like a bad person? Okay, of course, you know, we we, we can narrow that down to. You know, respect, not hurting people, no one getting harmed. Yeah. I mean, hurt, hurting people is like physical hurt and, you know, even mental abuse or, or, yeah, or whatever. Yeah. But just because. Like, just, like just knowing because, that you're you doing agree. something bad to someone, oh, exactly, I would say, yeah, yeah. is that's, that's yeah. kind of a trait, right? Maliciously. Yeah, yeah. Like, I'm like I'm just. A, like, if you actually had it in your soul to kind of bully, bully someone or pick on someone, and not when you're young, because that could be pushed just down be on nasty. you. nasty. But just be nasty to someone in an office environment or in a, in a street. You know, like a football fan shouting racist, okay, that's bad. You know, that's mm, clearly course, bad, yeah, yeah. you know? But bad. like, if you're just doing your shit and you maybe kind of um, said something that might have offended someone over there, okay, you're ignorant. Like, maybe you didn't know, you're, you didn't know, you're, you don't have uh, space awareness or whatever, but mm. like, there is kind of, you know, it's one person who gets offended is gonna say you're bad. It's a word for that, misunderstood. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's all like, everyone's got the, their own, Categorizing of what who's bad and what's yeah, yeah, bad. Yeah, that's the thing. It's like just because just because people don't get along doesn't mean they bad people. It doesn't yeah. mean that there's that situation of of um, you know if you have a strong work ethic, ethic and you're working extremely hard and your partner or whoever wants to chill with you on the sofa, but you don't want to give that person that time. You dick, you're a bad person. But no, yeah. because you 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 got other things to do. So saying no to things or walking away from things doesn't really make you a bad person. Yeah, I almost think it's a bit of a good trait having the confidence to say no to things because you'd rather say no to something and then be happy later with the person than say yes and then be annoyed, mm. you know? Stuck but I think that question's more actually a question of confidence because um, I think conf if you're confident, and confidence is hard to get because it takes years of learning and making mistakes. When people say um, bad person, bad person, well, Actually, the best people later in life are going to be the people who did mess up, who were bad at one point, and then learned how to not be. Listen, I think that's a big point about everything, is the fact that a lot of being people... Being bad isn't cool. It doesn't make you feel good. Well, yeah, I mean, but a lot of people say that uh, they've made well, mistakes. You learn from your mistakes. Yeah. That's an important thing. The word mistake, I don't like it. You learn from your lessons. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. So it's the fact of going through anything in life is a lesson to teach you. So something. everything's a possible lesson, for sure. Yeah. I think if... Um, I think if, if, if the whole thing with nice guys, right, you know, finishing last, I think I think you never finish if you're actually confident. Like you might get hurt by one person and hurt by another. Mm. You're only finishing last if you're if your confidence is getting just destroyed. Where you're just like, Oh, I give up man, I'm just I give up. I can't I can't go through this again. Okay, well right, well then you finish last. But then that's that individual deciding that they're finished last. And not going well. Maybe you're look, going for the wrong women all the time. Maybe you're yeah, doing well, something a little bit difficult. You know, there's, there's something that I think every every person should look into doing is that becoming the best possible human, best possible person you can become. Like but continuously not being afraid to make mistakes no, and mess no, 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 up. Of course, you know but no. But that's the thing. Like, how, how are you going to become a better version of yourself if you don't learn from your lessons? Yeah. 
So lessons, we talk mistakes. We don't like to use the word mistakes because nothing's a mistake, it's a lesson. Yeah. But learn from that. So well, you go know that and do things, make mistakes, make, learn from those mistakes, lessons, to improve yourself. But you know what, a, a good way, that, which, what's hard to learn from mistakes if you, and I think it all comes back to what something that's really, really interesting is having goals like mm. having something that you're really into because if you're not going out there oh, I've got something to do today I've got this big thing I'm trying to do I'm, I'm you know if you're not trying to get things together right make things happen or oh, I've got to go meet friends I've got to go out if you're staying in the house and maybe you're only playing video games maybe you're only speaking to people online maybe you're not really socializing enough you're losing the practice of going out and, and making things happen yeah, and so you're nice. so you're always going to be quite you're either going to be central or low and so when you do go out and you start talking to people and you might not even realize, but you're coming across a bit weird, like, oh, hi, or you're just staring at me. You know, you, you, lose, you lose all the social skills. Mm. So then you all of a sudden think, oh, wow, I just came out of the house for the first time in two weeks, and this person's just walked away from me, and it's like, oh, I guess, you know, I guess I'm a bad pair, or I guess I finished last. You well, know? That it's like, well, yeah, but you, you're not doing anything in your life to kind of keep you, you know, mm. exciting. Everyone wants a bit of excitement in their life. Oh, that's what I'm you know what I mean? Right. If you're trying to do something if you're I don't think I don't think you should live for something. I think you should just live for an interesting path well that's yeah, so I kind of think it's one of the same is like an interesting life is going to have equal I think equal amount of ups and downs I think again there's the, the, there's two sides to every coin right and the fact that some people what some people perceive as an issue life and happiness other people look at that and don't like it and some people actually just do enjoy being on their own and, you know Taking that, 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 that down that down that path, but I think that's cool if you can if you can actually feel happy on your own and you, yeah. and then be with other that's people I mean, occasionally. Though, yeah. But if you if you feel that you need to be alone a lot and then and then you're kind of like withdrawing from the world, I think self deprivation. I, yeah, I think um, I think there is something dangerous about isolating yourself from the mm. world. You self deprivation, know? isolation. Don't isolate yourself. The best thing is very it, it, it's very easy to do an isolation. I mean, we've all been there. We've all isolated ourselves over over time. But you, uh, you learn to you learn to come out of it, don't you? You know what? One of the best things I think for if it's a case of like young men talking about like someone's having an argument, having an argument on why do people fight? I think is that what one of the questions on there? I was just gonna think. I was just thinking. Yeah. Just while there's someone having an argument. Maybe he's deaf. <laughs> oh, impaired of hearing, should I say rather? But maybe he's uh, maybe. You know, like he, he's not having an argument at all. He's just talking loudly because he's impaired. You remember that 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 ad, what was that ad with that big phone and the guy's like shouting on the bus. Oh on. yeah, Dom Jolly. Hello. <laughs> oh yeah, no, he's definitely having an argument. But um, it's it's. He's just going bad. Oh, we should bring him over. We should we should bring him over and ask him why. Oh well, okay. Damn, he's screaming, call the police. That We're like, like eavesdropping now. This is kind of weird on yeah, us. That sounds like a, uh, a, uh, a, dispute, a dispute of some sort. It's interesting though, like, why do people get like that excited? I mean, I've been, I've been in loads of, especially in relationships, you know, when you're, you're seeing someone and you get really angry and you have fights, right? Thing is like, I've been in them, in them and after, afterwards, it just feels horrible. You never feel good. Oh, of course, yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? yeah, there's no win. Like no one wins. There's you know no what I mean? point in it. Fight, no point in shot, no point in arguing, no point in fighting whatsoever. And in yeah, the moment though, you wish you could tell yourself, it doesn't matter. Let it go. Mm. Let let them win this. Yeah. But your ego in the, in the moment, you know. That's the big thing. Is ego, really, isn't it? It just drives you nuts. Yeah. Yeah. You wish you could just kind of curb your ego. Because like every fight I've had, and in in, in, I'm talking about like in relationships, I think every fight I've had, like you never really remember them, like after you you're not seeing the person. Like you always remember. I don't know. This is maybe just my thing. But you always kind of like uh, remember the good things. Yeah, yeah, you know? of course. I mean, to be honest, like uh, I, I'm I'm the same. I never I never dwell on I never dwell on the negative. I always try to find a positive in every situation. And I've I've had to learn the hard way to do that. <clears throat> you know yeah. what I mean? It's, it's it's trying to train yourself. And it's super hard to do that in the middle of an argument, though. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's like still trying to work that one out. It's right? like the hardest thing. But I've always have wondered, like, what is it that kind of makes us 
that we want to contest a point, you know, because I've I've had arguments, and maybe yeah, it's, it's opinion, isn't it? It's trying to trying to put your, it's trying to yeah, trying to put your point across to convince the other person that you are right or you heard or. When it's really, it's just well, it's just your experience and their experience, and they don't match. So it if should you break be a it case down to that. Like, it actually does sound the like the most ridiculous thing. It, it is. It's so ridiculous. But like, um, and it's it's super hard, especially if like if you're a certain age and you're going out with someone younger because like things are so different like every five years you, your whole mind every time mm. every five years you think that you were crazy the five years earlier you didn't know shit every five years you learn so much more and so like it's sometimes when you're the older person in a relationship with a younger person what you should do is go all right and not in a condescending way you should just kind of go well look but i've said i've been in that situation and i've said you'll learn and that is the worst thing you oh, could say, yeah, because it's so condescending and it just drives them nuts. Well, it? Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, what's the next question? What's the uh, yeah? What's the next question? Is being offended popular? I think it's becoming. I think being offended is is becoming quite I want, popular. I, I think it's like a new sport. I, I, I want to. I want to understand that. What, what does that mean? Is, is being offended becoming popular? Like, what does that mean? So, that so like um. So people are seeming to get offended by like everything nowadays. Mm, now, okay, I and I don't mean by like, you know, there's some things are just genuinely offensive, but I think you have people over here in conversations and then they'll take, they'll take something out of context, not mm. understand the intent. And then they come, they're like, sorry, what did you say? Like, I've had, I've, there's been so many situations, like just a couple of weeks ago, I was wearing a t-shirt that had, um, you know, uh, uh, it had, we put the cunt in country, and it was all all political people on the T-shirt, and um, now all horrible people. Like everyone in politics, really at a high level, they're horrible people. They've killed people. They do whatever it takes to get you know, and all these people, like old school. This is ten years. This this shirt was made. T uh, it was the Circle of Rage Boys band T-shirt. Mm -hmm, okay. And um, and a girl had, a had asked me like. Uh, why are you wearing that? What, why are you wearing that T-shirt? Please, you're gonna have to explain that T-shirt to me because as I'm, I'm being a, your T-shirt is offending me. You're gonna have to explain your T-shirt to me. And I've had someone. I was at a party a little while ago, and someone, another, another girl, um, kind of was like, "Oh, you're, she slapped me. She actually slapped me, like, but kind of in a jokey way. But she slapped me, and I was just like, "Oh, like what?" She's like, "Your T-shirt and like slap," and I was like. But these are people who you would think, and they say that they're left-minded people who get offended by it. And you know the reason they get offended? The two women who have seen this T-shirt have got offended? Because Hillary Clinton is on the T-shirt. This ah. T-shirt this was made 10 years before she ran. Yeah, but... Like, it w and also Obama's on the T-shirt. Like, it's got Gorbachev, it's got, uh, you know, it's got, like, famous Bush. It's got, it's got right and left. You know, but it's like they're offended just because there's there's <coughs> got Maggie Thatcher on it, but they're offended because because Hillary Clinton's on. And I said, I said that when I explained it the one time, I was like, the the whole thing is we put the cunt in country, and um, all these people are are they're cunts because you know they've all killed and, and done horrible things. Political people. And the girl was like, yeah, but it's got Hillary Clinton on there. It's like, yeah, she's killed people. She's killed children in Libya. She's killed millions of people. She's a horrible human. I did this so I go, why, why is Donald Trump not on there? It's like, this t-shirt was made 10 years before he ran. He wasn't in politics then. Let's see but that, they jumped mm, to get offended. It's, it, you know why? Because it's ignorance. It's, it, it, it's the fact of, instead of, instead of um, coming to you in a positive way of being like, hey, what's your t-shirt about? Yeah. It's with that negative attitude yeah. of, oh, you know, like... And that, but that's I'm seeing it so much now. And the thing is, I'm like, I would say I'm, offended. I'm on the left. I'm offended. I'm, I'm offended by everything. <laughs> <laughs> I would say that I'm on the left, but it's like it seems sometimes that the left has been infiltrated by the right, because in some ways. I don't think there is any left or right anymore, is there? It's such a. It's just so extreme, you know. It's like, um, you know, the civil rights movement of like, of, uh, you know, back in the day of like free freedom, you know, like, mm. um, freeing, like no more oppressing women, like. You know, black rights, like people, equal rights movement, right? And then at that time, we needed freedom of speech. Mm. No, they're trying to get freedom of speech shut down. Oh the whole God. PC movement is to shut down because because you, you, because there's too many right wing people talking. It's you like just, well, you can't you, you all just, of a sudden shut it down just because there's too many right people talking. You just remind me of something. That's why we saw this on. Uh, it was on some news. You know, there's something in America that there was this uh, um, this girl. Oh woman she's got quite, quite young though but she uh i can't remember this from from states i'm like 
university were protesting and trying to get the word woman taken out of the dictionary because woman contained the word man <laughs> and it was offensive to woman because it it had the word man inside it so her that's just so her her argument was like well woman should not be called woman because the word man is in that word so the guy asked me was like well what do you want me to call you then she was you can call me person hello person and then so it's a, it's a, it's a he was, uh, yeah, you have to watch it. I can't remember what it is. We'll, we'll, we'll have the link in here. I've seen a lot but, of um, I've seen a lot of that stuff, man. It's just they want to call babies babies now because they don't want to condemn them to having a he or a she. What about all the babies? So they they want to call babies babies. So you know how the the, the pronouns of he or she they want they, you know. And it's uh, like, man, what about all the strong? Thinking, what about femi the feminist movement was about? being a she strongly, being a strong yeah, woman. Strong, and now you wrong. don't want people to, you don't yeah. want strong fat. So the whole fem, the new movements nowadays are just counteracting all the, the good work, you know. I think it's boredom. I don't know, I just think it's like, you know, re being heightened and because there's so much trauma that's went over, the, the statistics of crimes against women are diabolical in the world. So we do know that they, that a lot of women live with more fear. Like in every day, like in every day, walking around the streets, right? I at not at one point do I feel unsafe. But as a woman, you do. You actually genuinely do because someone can just come and grab your breasts or grab your ass. You know. Mm -hmm. So you. So it is a different world, and I can understand that that then there's a lot of anger for how bad things have been for so many years but it's getting better and surely that you don't kind of um, right a wrong by making more wrongs surely equal rights and kind of if anyone treats people wrong men women if anyone's treating people wrong surely you just kind of like everyone goes whoa that's lame why are you doing that you know like and then they don't do it again they learn but if everyone's trying their hardest not to offend anyone mm. and trying not to do anything wrong and then going home at night and just being horrible to the people at home, it's all going to build up. But if you're an asshole, surely you want assholes to show themselves. And then you, you want them to learn. But now they want, no, shut them down, you can't do that. It's like, it's like this it's weird time, form of oppression it? of the world then. It's a waste of time though, I don't know. Crazy, yeah. I don't know. Anyway, what's the next question? What's the next question? How did 4chan trolls manipulate the world so easily? Did you, did you see... No, I just did it. What was that about? Joe Rogan kind of got totally trolled on this. Basically, again, with the over, like, the over the score offensive thing. Like, I, I genuinely think the word um, I'm offended is going to become like, all right, it's not going to have any meaning anymore. Right. It's going to, you know, people are going to go like, all right, you're offended. And you go, yeah, all right, how's it going? You're offended, you're offended. And that's what's going to become because in, in time, people aren't going to know that offended was actually supposed to be a real word and people were. You know, you were supposed to actually wait to get offended by something, or something really, really ha has to happen. What's it? What, what, what's? What's? That's coming back to the word offended. What? What's? Uh, is it like a certain age group this happens in? It's definitely it? the kind of, you know, the social justice warrior, millennial, you know, younger kind of, you know, read a book for the first time at uni, you know, got extremely pissed off. But then there are there are people, there are groups, and there are people who. Who should be, you know, but their their yeah, movements yeah. end up getting shut, up, shut that, on I, by I, crazy I, people. I, I think that's your point is the fact that it shouldn't just be it shouldn't turn into a blase word. It should actually be something. Yeah, you, 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 there are things that you should get offended about. Yeah, and also you should get offended and you should learn to kind of be stronger. This is a crazy world. This is a jungle, and if you're trying to want the world to be always safe and no danger at all, then this how do you a, become stronger? This is the point. Uh, like, I mean, I guess that's how a man thought, but if someone offends me. For me, it is a personal attack on my character. That's offensive. That's uh, something. If someone if is, someone says like Rob, you're a fucking prick. Yeah, that is, yeah. yeah. I'm offended. Yeah, I am. Well, oh, but that's my be point. offended. <laughs> but that, that, that's my point. Just because if someone, you know, this dude behind us is shiny doing his thing, it doesn't offend me. I kind of yeah. feel sorry for the dude. Yeah. You know? I feel sorry or, for whoever the fellow he's shouting at. Hell, that's all. Yeah. <laughs> But you know, it, it, it's it's I think that word offended needs to be turned back into attack on on your personality or on your, yeah. your the person yourself. Just because someone is doing something in the street or wearing a city t-shirt, well, not even a city t-shirt, just wearing a t-shirt. 
Yeah. Well, this is how this is how, it, how silly it yeah. gets. So Joe Rogan, so so there was a, a thing that hit the internet, and it was like basically you know the sign here, like the whole like ah a okay like brilliant mm -hmm. you know, so it, it came out that some people were saying that that now means white power because of the W and the P. Real? Yeah, and so they were just going crazy, like, what? The internet went, and, and so many people were like, it does, it does. Well, yeah, it totally does. That. And then people going, ban that sign. You know, any white people cannot do that because that means they're racist. And it's like, man, like, what? You know, so, wow. so it, it started going crazy online. People really jumped on it. Social justice warriors were, like, putting these banners everywhere. Ban it, ban it, ban, ban that sign. We don't want that sign anywhere. And it turned out that it actually just came from 4chan. It was just someone just made it up to, to see, just to see how it would just take on. And it took on like crazy. How the internet And is. some how of the same the 4chan trolls, do you, I don't know if you remember the, the bleed through thing. It was like, um, I don't know if it was a million women or a, it was a lot of women yeah, worldwide yeah, yeah, got together on the day, on one day, and they just let themselves bleed through yeah, down their yeah, legs, yeah, yeah. through their panties. And just because uh, there was something about uh, tampons were going to be taxed, yes, you know, yes, that was, that and, was awesome. and so they just did that on that day. I think, I think that would, how many people would have been like, you can't, what, you can't increase tax on tap. That's ridiculous, right? Mm. Um, and so it turned out that was also just a 4chan troll, wow. and there was no, there was never any attempt to increase the, you know. But it got people so angry, and then all these people end up doing that. And it's kind yeah, of it shows like you how quickly like movements can get. You, can it shows you how someone can just make up something, and it shows you that people aren't actually doing the due diligence. They're not checking up on this stuff. No, it doesn't mean I They're not like going before I jump to get triggered, and before I kind of calm myself and actually like let me think about what I really want to do here. Maybe there's something else we can do. Yep, no, that's it. We're gonna do this. Fuck it. Balls to the wall. But crazy if you, take, if you take majority of the people that are actually trolling in this whole like trolling word online keyboard warrior sort of shit, right? You put them in a normal sort of social environment. I can't say a word. <laughs> that's the... Uh, excuse me. That's the... Um, that's the whole... That's the, I think that's the whole problem. Yeah. Is the fact that we've been... There's this platform where so many people can give their opinions and not be held, like, that accountable for it. Because... Yeah. You know, there's a difference between having an argument with someone on, in text format and then having an argument with someone on the phone and having an argument with someone face to face. Mm. I mean, there's certain l levels of that. Yeah. And basically everything now is just sort of this, these tapping away and creating all this stuff online. Yeah. The, the bad thing is that what people actually don't even realize is that all that shit that you put online and all that stuff that you say can and will be used against you. And it most definitely will. If you have an yeah. argument with someone face to face, Unless someone's got a, a recording device there, which basically half, 99% of the time, no one does, yeah. you can't be held accountable for your words. So we actually, all these people who think they, you know, hiding behind a wall, they're basically not, they're actually, yeah. they, they, they just shooting themselves in the foot. Yeah. And you know what's really crazy as well is like, you know, you, back in the day, the propaganda would have just been like governments using certain propaganda to put through bullshit stuff. Or, mm. um, and this has been happening a long time. The, the guy Ed Bernay, back in the day, um, Ed Bernay was, I think he was, he was one of the relatives of um, Freud, mm. right? And, and that whole psychology group of people who were coming up with these um, ideas of how to treat people with men mental illness, most of it was basically to keep people sedated, to keep coming back to get treatment, to make more money. So he was using a lot of those techniques. And one of the big ones he used, he wrote a few books, and they became, one of them, I think it wasn't Manufacturing Consent, but one of them became the book that Joseph Goebbels used as the main book for Nazi propaganda. Wow. And this guy was a, you know, an American, um, you know, kind of, Hero. yeah, sociologist or, or, or like psychologist, but basically he, went, he was approached by, the, by feminists in the 50s and they asked him, like, is there techniques or things that we can do to really push our struggle forward? You know, like, what can we do? And he was like, all right, brilliant I've got classic answer for it. you know he says basically what you want to do is when you're marching through New York through Manhattan you want to get all of the women up front to smoke cigarettes because that will tell men that you're strong you're on their level and they all did it right and the women thought we we're put, putting it you know the, the feminists were like yes we're gonna we're gonna show them right and what it was is he actually went and did a deal with a smoking company 
and it boosted smoking through the roof. Like more women around the world started to smoke because it was like, well, that these feminists are smoking, I'm going to smoke now. And so feminists end up being used. So smoking was used as like to sell smoking. Wow. Do you know what I mean? So that that's the same thing that's happening now. Four chan trolls doing this. They're mess. They're using propaganda to fuck with you to get people just crazy, getting angry, and they're and they're it's enjoying it. it isn't. You know, I, I'm I'm, I'm going to divert off these questions and this this, this topic quickly, but you're going to wax um, lyrical. We're going to wa- wax lyrical this one, but. So myself and a very close friend of mine, Le- Leroy, and uh, his housemate Matt, we've been we've been having a discussion this week about uh, the Earth being flat <laughs> and NASA lying. Oh God! And uh, do either is, of them it think is it is? Quite, it is quite interesting. Now listen to this, right? And you, everyone go away and do 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 your research. There's, I'm not saying that I believe in it, but what I'm saying is that some of the evidence and some of the stuff that they are bringing out from both sides obviously is very interesting but this flat earth society they come up with some really really good scientific proof that's kind of just like wow I've seen it all it's been debunked it's in the most ridiculously easy way no no but okay no, th- so, so a lot of the other stuff I was kind of like yeah yeah cool or whatever but there was one that taken a flight no 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 no. but that's the thing <laughs> alright well, I'll get into that one but there was one that um, really got me I was just like interesting I'm not saying that I believe it, I'm not saying I don't believe it, I'm just saying interesting. So, there's mathematical calculations that these mathematicians did where they, they took space over like a, um, a certain distance, looked at a flat lake, because there's a city on the other side of this lake, right? And the, they worked out like the curvature of... You're talking about the point of perspective? Yeah. With the yeah, laser. And has it? Yeah. How? It's just, it's, it's basically like, so you're talking about like you shoot a, a laser and it hits the point like so far away and it just goes straight. Yeah. Like it's, I can't remember exactly that one, but that's been really disproven. But the, the main ones, so they say I think something about like the horizon, you know, like um, if a boat goes over the horizon, it, the nose, like surely the nose would dip first or something like that, right? I haven't heard that one yet, yeah, but... But basically, I mean, I, I rabbit hold it like like crazy, just because it just to have a look, mostly just to have a look at like some of the people who are really compelled by it. There's one person I I like a lot, um, and I'm thinking surely you can't be, and and they are. They totally believe it. Eddie Bravo, phenomenal jujitsu guy, uh, and he's totally 100 percent head over heels in it. But I've seen I've seen people show him, and I've, I've I mean, there's the the someone someone who was one of the people who were the first people to start speaking about it mm. did a thing with Stephen Molyneux a, a, a YouTube guy called him up on the phone and, and was talking about it and he was and he, he they did an error and Molyneux destroyed every single one the guy was left uh, uh, at the end of it really yeah basically I what, think it's one of the like main it's ones such, is like such an interesting because I mean I it's know. amazing that it's got so big but that mm. really just does come to the fact of like if I say like an idea to you, and I put loads of numbers in, and I, you know, really good way I've thought about I think it, with like unless very you, good evidence, you, unless you, you know the books, unless you know, but the thing is, they say that every, so that there is satellites right now, and and that have live feeds, from certain satellites, mm. right? So so and you can go online and watch those live feeds, from above the Earth, so you can see the whole Earth, turning. But that's, a, that, that, that's something that's been debunked by this Flat Earth Society. And this, this is the thing, because both arguments are co- compelling as hell. I mean, obviously, for me, I'm leaning more towards, yeah, the Earth is round and the universe out there and there's a lot of shit going out there, but... Believing? <laughs> that's the crazy thing! <laughs> no, no, the no, crazy no. thing that you're actually just... No, 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 even no. anywhere. No, no, because, because what the, the thing that I'm doing is I find it so interesting. The thing I find it is... I'm not okay, well, yeah, I would say le- leaning more towards it. I mean, leaning more towards it, the fact but these arguments that the Flat Earth Society are coming up with, I'm just going, this is actually... This is what about the one that they say stuff? that, that, the, what, that the sun is not a sun, it's a massive bulb that is something uh, like 4,000 yeah. metres high? No, I, I, I don't want to that one. Now, if you, li- I mean, no, that, if like you live in Australia, and it's different, and it's dark now, do you know what I mean? I know, there, 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 is, there, there is a lot of that. I don't know, I mean... I just thought that means the world is round. There's been there's just been a lot of discussion, a lot of conversation <laughs> around this in this household that I'm, I'm in at the moment. I think it's just it's such a to be honest, 
the cool thing about it, and the reason why I brought it up, because the point I wanted to make was, it's so much more fun having these kind of conversations than watching shitty TV or talking about it other people or kind of yeah. trying to question each other <clears throat> you know trying to try someone trying to come up with, with a point you like I'm not saying that Leroy doesn't believe in it but he's he's trying to find all the stuff he's like how crazy is this and then we will go find something else so what we what, what are we actually doing we looking at at what the Earth society is saying saying well wow, actually that's quite believable all right and then go and find but when you find it, to, to, the, to that, when you find and you go, and you go, like, yeah, and you go oh, find the counter, no. you're like, okay, yeah, yeah, okay, cool. cool. I, I think I spent the first time I came, came across that. I think I spent twenty minutes going, oh, that is quite interesting, and then, like the obvious, because I was ignoring the obvious ones, yeah, right? yeah. And then as soon as I looked for the obvious ones, I was like, so you honestly oh, think no. that the only thing that I, I was gonna, I was gonna come say, hey, I, I think they're flat. You know, if you did, I was gonna go and this <laughs> right now. But you know, the, this, but the interesting thing is because of like the power of these 4chan type like trolls and the, and the amount of people that ca are creating it. Like, look at Scientology. Scientology is, is created created by a fucking science fiction writer. Mm. A science fiction writer said he was gonna do it. Actually said that he was gonna do it to get um, tax write-offs. He was gonna create his own religion because you don't get ta charged tax, right? Says he was gonna do it, and then he did it, and then he, he got away with it. And mm. now, obviously, some people who uh, who are a part of Scientology, it works for them or whatever, right? So, but obviously, uh, some at the top know that it's a fucking, you know, they're just having a laugh. But it's like, but then that you get that, and then I don't know if you've heard of the um, the Mandela effect. Yeah, but what is Mandela effect? And the Mandela effect is that people believe because obviously there is um, now. Uh, machines like D-Wave quantum computers uh, that can that work on 500 qubits so that can can co compute more bits of information than atoms in a known universe. What does Mandela have to do with it? I'll tell you. So people think that because these machines are there they can go into the Planck distance right and change bits of information mm -hmm. change bits of the past wow. right and so, and then it just becomes removed from our existence. And they think that governments are, and down, the, you get further down the line, right? And it ends up, where do you think it ends up? A religious thing. Same with Flat Earth. Where that ends up? Religion. A religious yeah. thing. It's, oh, you know, there is a God, God created us and we live on a flat plate. That's Flat Earth. These, the Mandela effect is there is a God, God created us, and now all the governments are trying to change the, the history. And, and so they go, well, what's, what's one of the, hist what's the big one that they say? Mandela, they, there is people alive that question, that think Mandela died in jail. And, and so, so many people, if you go online right. and type it in, like how many people think Mandela died in jail? And it, it's like in the 60%. Hmm. And you're like, what? Like one of the most important people on the planet who famously spent 22 years in jail, got out of jail and then led a country. Do you know what I mean? Like, what? Are there, are there the same people that think Elvis is still alive? And, and so there's, but dude, there's so many of it. Like the Bernstein Bears or the Bernstein Bears. Like there's all these things. If you, if, so like, and, and, it's, and really what it comes to is just people have bad memories. <laughs> so like um, uh, people think, you know, mirror, mirror on the wall yeah. from, from Snow White. Actually, she never said that. But you think she did say it. But actually, she never said it. But then if something, at some point, um, she just says, uh, she doesn't say mirror, mirror. She looks at the mirror and she says, tell me something, 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 right? But then mirror, mirror was used in an advert to promote the film and then everyone got mirror, mirror and then they made a famous show, a, a stage show based on it called mirror, mirror. So everyone thought mirror, mirror was from the, the, the film and now people are going, oh, it's been removed from the film. They're trying to, you know, it's, just, it's this conspiratorial mind that everyone has. Wow. So it, it shows how kind of, that and the kind of 4chan trolls and basically just using propaganda that used to be used to start wars showing us how easy it is to create propaganda to make you think that someone's pulling I think to be honest, I think propaganda, starting propaganda now is way easier to start than Oh I yeah say, jeepers, jeepers. Yeah What's the uh, next question there? Ah Oh <laughs> <laughs> Have the left by the right. We just talked. We were just talking about this earlier. Like a lot of the um, 
a lot of the kind of social social justice original things that happened were kind of left movements, you know, freedom of speech, and they're kind of it's easy to think that I think because they're kind of becoming that's what the, the the left now wants to shut down freedom of speech because it's so full of like they think hate speech, so they don't want to hear it, so it feels like they're infiltrated by by a right movement because it seems so right. It's so, it seems so right wing to be able to, sh to want to shut people down. Maybe, maybe this is, um, I don't know, for, for me, like hearing this sort of stuff, I think there's a lot more that people can concentrate on their lives. And then, and for me, what I mean by that is kind of just like, instead of trying to take things away, go back into who you are yeah. and bring out something good. Yeah. There's that. There's too much. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I like it. it I, I kind of need to think about that for a while. But it's it's just there's so much. I don't I, like the left versus right no. identity politics. It's like on some things, like no, no, we no, no, all no, no, have no. a left and right side of our brain. We all are conservative in some ways and and, and kind of creative yeah. and liberal in the other. That's the thing. Like for, like I'm I'm not deeply involved in politics. I'm not really. It's never been something that's interested me that much. And maybe it should, maybe I should get more more, more involved. But I think it's just, there's got to be other things to do with your time. But then again, oh, yeah. that's, that's why it goes back to that whole have something, be about something, try to live an interesting life, exactly, and you won't be yeah. so caught up in, you know, oh, this person said that, oh my God, the world's over, Trump's in power. It's like, shut up. Like, there's always been a cunt in power. Why is it any different now? When, when is any, okay, maybe... Ever since after the wars, right? When is any of the government? That's why they've put all these other stringent things in place, these rules and these other parties, and other parties, the other like, yeah, yeah, parties to con. Just because the, the 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 president or the prime minister says something, doesn't mean it's going to happen. They have to go through so many, jump through so many hoops, and try to get so many things signed off, and so many people on their side and votes. Those things are put in there, so you don't get idiots just doing dumb things. Yeah, and yeah. I think the heightened, the heightened um, anger, and if you're like angry by, but I think what what this the, the the kind of extreme anger and like jumping at things and like ah oh, shouting in people's face, trying to shut people down, trying to get student student uh, trying to get um, professors at universities kicked out, you know, trying to you know hearing one word and then screaming help or like ah oh, you know like I'm in danger. It's all if you. If you're doing stuff like that, or if you're online and you're going, oh, this person said this, and you create such a thing, you actually end up promoting the bad guy way more. I tell you. Trump may you. never have, if they didn't jump on so many things he said and like get and pretend to be, and get so offended by, oh, he used the words grabbing them by the pussy, grab someone, grab a woman by the pussy. Like, we should have, the whole world should have just been like, a fucking douchebag. Yeah, not you giving know, him any instead of the, of, instead, not giving him a platform really, isn't it? Yeah, people got so angry about it, and then how many like dudes, that middle America, that kind of dudes who are like, like being shut down a lot, or, or people who just were like, oh man, like it was a joke. People end up liking him more. But then, and that's when, why, why do we, why are we so? It's actually a, a question I asked myself the other day because we, you know, obviously doing so much research, not doing so much research, but like getting so involved in this whole. NASA, flat Earth, round Earth. <laughs> you, you're getting involved with that. And then, <laughs> and then, like, understanding, like, Trump and there's so much focus on what America is doing. Mm. And I thought, why, why are we continuously thinking about America? Why are we not thinking about, like, India or, I don't know, some other country that, you know, like, it, there's so much focus on the American culture. Yeah, there's it's a lot so going on in the world. There's so many other things that are going on in the world, that if we, if the news just, imagine all the news outlets, and this, 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 this obviously shows you how it's controlled, did not report for one month, even a week, on anything America did. <laughs> imagine that. The place would America part got at business. The place would fall <laughs> apart. It, no, it's, it's, it's serious. But the crazy thing is, what? we're concentrating what they're doing over here. What about Theresa May, like passing through a bill, legalizing the sale of of, um, and this is one of the questions on that, but I'll just go into it straight away, but like legalizing the sale of children's sex dolls for pedophiles. You know what, hearing that makes me... Theresa May did that. A woman so has the power to be a cunt. Makes me so, 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 it's 
it's, there's no words for that. And the there's idea no, is that no they'll, they'll, that. They'll, just, they'll stop pedophiles doing it with real children. It's like, when have you ever done something a lot and then like finished a toy and been like, oh, I don't want another toy? When have, how, do you, how do they not realize they're just going to want the real thing? Obviously, it's a compulsion. It's a mental disorder. They're going to want the real thing because the real thing is the thing they're addicted to, not fucking a plastic thing. But it just seems to me that makes me want to fucking... It does make me want to kill. Lose my mind, but... Makes me want to go online and start like, ah! Not even, just... Oh, no. I'm hoping that everyone, like, no one knows. I'm hoping it's like, gonna, you know? Get swept under the carpet. But also, that just shows you, like, the, the education of you think people. You think people in politics are smart. No, no, no. You and politics aren't smart. They can just talk bullshit. I, I generally think sometimes they, they put things like this through to get all the kind of social justice warrior types and, and people to get angry and all the liberals to get angry so that everyone talks about it. Mm. And, it and it's this weird way of it. It'll still, you know, because it, so many people will talk about it. It's like an easy way of marking it to the right wing people, you know. But the fact that they actually put that through and they kind of rationalized it, that it would, that it would be good for stopping pedophilia it's like yeah, well, yeah, uh, fuck. Uh, uh, try it in jail with pe- convicted pedophiles no, don't even don't fucking even try the fuck out of you'd be able to see an idea. <laughs> um, how, do they try, how do they try it in jail sorry Tammy you're going to have to go into this correctional facility we've tried them this guy with the doll you, uh, you know take one for the team like not going to be able to try it in jail you know it's, 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 you, you there, can't there, try there. that idea it's a dumb idea let's go, throw it out let's go to the crush because it's just <laughs> not even worth the breath yeah, what's the next question? Is it possible to cure psychopaths? This is an interesting one. Is it possible to cure psychopaths? I heard that if you can't catch them, I'll tell you that, like, <laughs> catch them, but if you don't get it. shock therapy. Well, they, they used to do that a lot with, with any anything. I think ADHD in the past used to be treated by electroshock therapy. Yeah, anything would treat um, I think I've been treated. I think I self-treated myself one time with electroshock therapy. That was just because I was trying to eat a remote control. But <laughs> those nine volts, a, the, the, the nine <laughs> volts could really hurt. You know, when you when you put the yeah, battery yeah. on your tongue, I used to do that uh, all the time, and I used to think that I was giving myself electroshock therapy. I was four. Probably working but maybe I was to stop it because small. apparently uh, if you if a child is a psychopath and and there's something like one every ten uh, I was gonna say every that's ten minutes bad, only every ten the, people the, or something the, the kind of question no, not kind of question, but the question on that are you are you born a psychopath or yeah. are you molded into one well, through experience because I believe and I'm not a doctor I'm not the most <laughs> I think we know <laughs> he just brought up flat earth <laughs> everything you say from now is getting taken with a pinch of salt <laughs> and I wouldn't I wouldn't classify myself as the most in, uh, intelligent human in the world but you know we have some intelligence stuff here somewhere. but what, what I believe in is the fact that when you're born every everyone is born Equally, that 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 day you come into this earth unless you're born without like an arm or like no, just, no, no, just no, 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 because this is a brain. Right. So once that brain comes into the earth, it's it's a blank canvas. Yeah. I don't think, and maybe I'm wrong, but I don't see how DNA can make you. Oh no, it's definitely been proven. D- like things travel through DNA. I mean, is it proven that trauma can travel through DNA because essentially your DNA is made up of your mom and dad's, right? So if your dad has psychopathy in his past, and he might not have triggered to it, he might have yeah, sustained I told you. it. I'm, I'm not a doctor. But, <laughs> <laughs> but you're, like, your grandparent could have it, and it skips your dad, and then you can get it. So it's one of these things, it's like hereditary diseases. This, they work the same way, like. You know what? I want to cut this episode. I'm, I'm, I'm coming across as an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's, it's, I mean, I wouldn't have known that unless, I'm not, I, I don't know that. I, I just watched a documentary on it. Ah, okay. <laughs> no one does. Start sending me the links. <laughs> yeah, like, uh, but I saw in this one documentary, um, uh, and I watched this documentary because I saw the Netflix show Evil Genius, and it's about a fucking mental case oh, who, ca- who like, she just pulls off, she she kind of kills four of her boyfriends, pulls off this, I don't want to give away, the, I'm fucking giving away the whole story, but just watch it. But it made me watch this other, other documentary um, about uh, a psychopath, about psychopaths, and mm. apparently, if you don't catch it by four years old, you can't cure it. But now there's oh. no, there is actually some really, because I started rabbit hole and I was like, can it be cured? And I was searching all the stuff. And there's a, a TED talk by two doctors 
and it's really controversial stuff. Mm. But they they basically have got this. They open up the brain and they go in and they start like changing the, the synopsis. They they kind of fire in synopsis. Synopsis. So basically, they 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 started to do it to cure things like MS. People who can't walk, they go into the brain to. You know, people who are chronically depressed, they go mm. and fix it, make them smile, you know, like, and, and, and it's, it's really hardcore, but it is actually, like, changing the brain, you know? Wow. So they're saying they like can do that. It. They can do that with, psych with psychopathy, but now people are trying to shut it down, like, no, no way, you know, they won't get the funding. So they, they can do it, it's just that it's really hard to go through, you wow. know? But it's real hardcore shit because, That's like, you can just be born brain damaged, you know? Like, as a form of brain damage, you can see mm. the brain of someone who's a psychopath, or, like, Someone can fall down, the one, one person that, that, I, that I know is in this documentary, they fell down the stairs when they were a kid, they took a heavy blow, and it actually made a compression mark on their brain, and that sent all the, fi the synapses wrong. And so they just couldn't connect with things that they liked, and, and they got angry really quick. Oh, yeah, no, I've, 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 uh, I've kind of lived through that, someone that I know that actually <clears throat> had a big, big brain injury. He was in a coma for a while, and uh, when he came out in coma, he, he couldn't speak. Obviously, his native tongue was English. He was speaking Zulu fluently. Oh wow! And had to relearn how to speak. Yeah, English. But then when, when that was as he 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 woke up, this fluent Zulu came about, and it mm. was like, oh, everyone was like, we was like, what the hell is going on? This is ridiculous. Like we didn't know that he could speak. Yeah. Zulu, we couldn't speak whatever. it before. No, well, I mean, yeah, you know, some like some what, what words? Yeah. How we knew? But this was like full on, wow. full on Zulu. But then obviously, when the brain started repairing itself he lost that ability and went um. back to his native English so like I, I, I do believe that if you in, injure or knock certain parts of the brain or change certain things in the brain you can easily change yeah like yeah but it's so bad like for, for, ch for like children I saw this other documentary and I actually haven't seen this one but I saw that it was one of the favourite uh, docs of uh, it was one of the most influential docs that Louis Theroux ever watched mm. so I saw him talking about it it's one I'll probably watch it at some point I think it's called, it's called Minnie or Timmy or I don't know so it's about an 11 year old psychopath who burns burns down it burns down houses and shit wow. and you're what like apparently like this is what Luther is saying he's like watching it and you're like you're thinking there's no way this little kid could be a psychopath and at one point it shows you the kid talking about a family's house that he burned down and he's talking about it laughing and you're just like oh wow. man so what do you do with that you know and this and you think about how many yeah, psychopaths can, are out if there you can, if you can if there is like modern science medicine that can change it like straight yeah. up all for that you know what I mean yeah but then again don't you think it's getting you know, maybe slightly off, off piece there, but the government controls this sort of shit to keep us in our herd, to keep us controlled. Because well, like not not you, wanting to just get that treatment out there. To no, get, because psychopaths, anything war, psych, anything that keeps the population down. Yeah. People want that. People like yeah, because you kind of need a bit of crime every now and then, you know. But also like parents, like how do you, if your if your kid is like like the omen kid you know mm. just like killing people and shit or like or like doing evil things you probably wouldn't even be until they unless they did something like burn a house down or something or a school down you wouldn't really you would you would want to fade it wouldn't you you would want yeah, to like not yeah. but then being oh. a baby being a parent being a you know it's very hard to think your child can do any wrong yeah you know? even when it like stabs you in the leg you're just like oh yeah. no it just you had a bad day, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Gouge one of the kid, the neighborhood's kids' eyes out. Just oh, you know, kids these days. <laughs> What's the? Let's do maybe do the last question, as if there is one. So yeah, there's a few more. Um, the last one was, uh, how big a life lesson is learning to forgive yourself? Ooh, oh, that's a good one. That it's a good one. How good is a life lesson learning to forgive yourself? I think that's a very, very, very hard thing to do, but. It's the probably most, one of the hardest. The most rewarding thing to do is if you, and this is obviously on certain levels of forgiveness or for what you do, you know what I mean? But I think, yeah, I don't know. You I'm tough to myself a lot of the time. So I did you've a, gotta be. I did a hell of shit this morning. That's a real, to, real greasy how steamer. Did you, how did you forgive yourself? I haven't yet. You're still working on that one. I haven't. Some things, they just don't, but, and in reality, like, it's like um, we are a bit hard on ourselves. And even when we think, it's, I don't think people would even hear, like, oh, learn to forgive yourself and be like, people would just go, yeah, cool. But they don't. 
because yeah. it's such a weird thing. It's like if you have a bad day and things just hang on, they hang on you. You know, you get angry and annoyed, and you just ugh. And it, it's yeah, like, but I, I, I think for me the point is, is, is don't forgive yourself. Is, is not sitting standing in front of a mirror or sitting in room by yourself being like, I'm sorry. <laughs> Didn't mean to. Mirror, mirror yeah. on the wall. <laughs> Why are you such a cunt? <laughs> I'm sorry. You know, I think it's the process of acceptance. That's the most key. Yeah. That's what I mean, like letting go of things. Like, mm. all right, look, yeah, I had a bad one today. I shouted at someone or like, one of the things that I hated when I was a kid was, I mean, I was a kid, I was probably 17 or 17, 18, and I was making a beat and my niece was probably like four years old and she ran in the room and I was like, get out. Mm. And to this day, I still hate that I did that. I still angry at myself for doing that. You haven't forgiven yourself yet. It's a weird thing. I think sometimes we know that we have the potential to be such cunts. And I, I think mm. sometimes that grounds us so that we don't get too egotistical, but sometimes it can keep us sunk in a hole. Uh, you know, for me with everything, everything is about balance. Yeah. You can't be too much of a nice person, you can't be too much of a bad person. You, you need to do bad things, you need to go through experiences to learn. Now when we talk about bad things, we don't talk about it. Deliberately trying to do it. Yeah. yeah. But if you, you know. If bad you things will happen. Yeah, well, if you say something wrong, you get an argument with someone. If you, if you lose your temper and you hit someone or you get into a fight, you know what I mean? It's, it's the average person doesn't feed off that. Yeah. So when, but we all end up doing it. I think the hardest thing, what, the, e- the easier thing to do is to say sorry to someone. I, I, I never like, I never want anyone to say sorry to me. I, I never need it. Like, you know. I, 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 for me, saying sorry is the easiest thing in the world. Yeah. Meaning it is, is, you know, meaning it is, is a tough thing, but I think you only really mean it if you actually can be sorry with yourself. Mm. If you can and forgive yourself. And you know that is mean? forgiveness of yourself, yes. I think we might, what's it, what's, is there any left? What's the, uh, how long, how much longer, how long have we gone? We've got, um, doing off 20 minutes. Well, we're we're going we, on we, the hour. Oh, we're on an hour, hour now? Yeah. Yeah, maybe we should cut, cut it, because we do, we do talk shit probably, for a long time, Probably wrap it up. So I would say to wrap it up, uh, there is a lot of psychopaths out there. Um, there's a lot of flat earth believers. There's a lot of trolls. Let's get together and have a good time. Peace out. <laughs>